All right, guys, it is a dark and spooky rainy day in Corbin, Kentucky at this Spirit Halloween. It's so dark, it looks like there should be a moon rising above. A blue moon of Kentucky. <laughs> There's even an orange witch hat outside. All right, guys, let's go into the Spirit Halloween in Corbin, Kentucky and see what kind of awesomeness we can find. Wait, before we go in, I have to take a look at these pictures here because I haven't looked at them yet. And even though I'm not on any, which is an atrocity, I did see this kooky guy. What is going on with his eyes? Okay, let's not waste any more time. Let's get in here and see what awesomeness awaits. And I see something already that I'm excited about. It's Chains of Death. They have the Chains of Death on the whole theme. How cool is that? I am loving this. Plus they have awesome animatronics set up and I see a whole bunch of animatronics all around the store for sale. Why is this spot empty? But first, let's visit our friends and see if we can get any information. Where is the ghost face mask? <laughs> I know you know. If they have them, they're probably over here. What the heck, man? Every time I wasn't looking for these masks, they had them. Even at flagship, they had like a blue metallic one and the red one. You're hurting my heart, ghost face. All right, guys, they don't have them, but in the tradition, Nozzles, once again, has an absolutely absurd haircut. Look at the hairdo on this guy. <laughs> he looks like a bad Joker. He looks like Jack Nicholson's Joker from the old Batman movie. Nozzles, your hair is a cruel exhibition to the human race. Plus, he has no fog. All right, Nozzles, we love you, but dang, that hairdo. You need to find a new beauty shop. All right, let's check out Lord Farquaad here. Hello, Lord Farquaad. What are you thinking in that brain? Dang, look at this. Look how far his neck goes in and out. He's like a turtle. Maybe in a former life he was a turtle. Is it or is it not true that you evolved from the turtles? And if so, where did you get that long beak? All right, we got Grim here too. And look at his face. He's looking like something is somewhat off with him. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him going here. Come on, Mr. Grim. Uh, he's not gonna work. Something is off. But doesn't that look crazy? Like something about him looks like his eyes or his jaw are just slightly off. Okay guys, we have a good selection of animatronics here on the floor. We've got a bunch of sitting scarecrows and we've got Barry here. But here's my question. Is it actually Barry or is it Barry since he's in a bar cage? And I'm really surprised at how many Grimms I'm finding in the store. Look, they have three of them here and they have a Lord Raven, another Barry, and they have two bag of bones. Oh, and an animated doll greeter. Hello, friend. You don't work. We've got a Nozzles over here, but look at this. We've got a Shorty in the wild. A shorty available, guys. And we have three Bubba's, man's possessed friend. I don't think I've seen the gizmo backpacks before. That must be new. Oh, look at this sweet picture. All hail the Pumpkin King. I think I've said this before. I'm not a big fan of House of a Thousand Corpses, but this is a really good looking mask right here. Really ugly, but really well made. Lord Farquaad. It's a King of Crows mask. Look at that is pretty dang crazy right there. It's like a burlap sack that's tied in the back and a crow skull busting through the face. And they have burrito babies. They have two of them. And look at this, they have a couple more, but somebody online was looking for this one and I cannot find who it was. But if you're anywhere near Corbin, Kentucky, 
there she is, Little Miss Throwing a Fit. Whoa, look at this, guys. They have these in the wrong place. These are the new little skelly bones, the crouching skelly bones that I just bought that crouches down and jumps up and scares the crap out of you. But they have them right here by Empty Soul Girl on a Swing, probably mistakenly thinking that they are the old little skelly bones on a swing. They have a couple of these dolls, my favorite, of course, being Uncle Charlie. Then we have the decrepit haunted doll and eerie emma they have these star wars masks that i have not looked at yet this season they're wow those are pretty thick those are heavy duty masks they look pretty good too but this is the one that i like the universal monsters creature from the black lagoon look how awesome he looks they also have these Star Wars masks, which are supposed to be like the old masks from the 70s and 80s. This is a mask and a costume. I think we need a Nate guy mask and costume. Oh, here's a couple mugs I haven't seen before. Look at this one. I love Ghostface, so this one is totally awesome. And look at this one, the original horror show. These are the original Universal Monsters. That is so cool. And look at the back. It is so awesome. And we can't leave without looking at the Freddy mug. We've seen this one before, but I think it's so funny. Look at the side view. Look at that profile. <laughs> they have a good selection of inflatables here. Look at this. We have the hearse on the bottom, the inflatable skeletons, the jack-o'-lantern stack, the haunted tree and the reaper, the ghost, the cat, the tombstone, the Frankenstein, the gargoyle, the reaper, the jack-o'-lantern archway, and the scary clown archway. We've got this awesome plush Sally and Jack Skellington. And I love these throws. Look at this. This is a reversible throw. Our town of Halloween. And here's all the characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then, of course, you've got Jack Skellington all alone over here. Oh, and here's a Sally one. Oh, this is reversible too. It's Sally on one side and Jack on the other. Oh, this is cool. This is a door cover. You put this on your front door. Jack and Sally and bats. What's it say? Meant to be. I like this deadly nightshade bottle. Let's see, I guess it lights up. Oh yes, that is awesome. Then we have a whole bunch of Beetlejuice stuff over here. Look at this sign here. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And look at this, a Zagnut. <laughs> that is hilarious. Handbook for the recently deceased mug. I love how it's blue inside. And look, it's sandworm candle holders. Those are awesome. Of course, they have a whole bunch of Hocus Pocus stuff. The Sanderson Witch Museum. And I love this, the map of Salem. Witches return from the dead. Oh, this is sweet. Look, it's the Billy Butcherson tombstone. Here lies the body of William Butcherson. They have a few Sam sidesteppers. Oh, he's not working. He's not working. He's not working. Oh, I see. They have that yellow tag you gotta pull in order for the battery to make contact. Oh, of course we have the jumping spiders. Look at the plush oogie boogies. Oh my gosh, he's so soft. And look, he has the bugs and worms in his teeth. There's one lone plush sandworm. Hello, fella. Let's leave some stickers for Frankie. And some stickers for Skelly. And some stickers for Kitty. And some stickers for Nozzles. All right, guys, that's it for Corbin, Kentucky. Unfortunately, they didn't have a whole lot of new stuff in there. I really was looking for a Michael Myers or Leatherface bobblehead. I haven't found one yet except for in New Jersey and I didn't buy them there, so stay tuned. Ah, 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 ah!